chat. Ooh, woo. The Bacchus. All right, so let's get started. I'm on vacation. This is vacation, Rio. I'm just chilling right now. I kind of wanted to, I wanted to catch up. So I've been thinking a lot. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot. This weekend's been huge for me. I put a lot of thought into a lot of things. Been doing a lot of stuff. It's been great. It's been wild. It's a wild ride. Wild weekend. So basically, where to get started? It's been a while. It's been a while since you've seen my face. So I guess a good place to get started would be, yo, Yuko, my sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Goddamn. I'm sure many of you have seen, but some of you may not have seen somehow that I made a new OC recently. I guess we should probably talk about that, shouldn't we? So for the longest time, I fucking hated my OCs. I know that you guys knew that. I kind of talk about it all the time. It was like one of my main go-to things was talking about how much I fucking hated my OCs. Mocha was cool. Mocha was chill. I liked Mocha. As far as the... I, I feel like really what it boiled down to, it wasn't really that I hated uh, Oni and then Yuki. You know, I gotta keep track of all these fucking names because I keep on changing them. But basically, I like... Uh, <clears throat> I had like... I had Oni... And I was like, I fucking hate heterochromia. This shit's stupid. And then I made Yuki, which was a pretty good step. It was a pretty good step in like a better direction. But then like, I don't know, I just, it really just boiled down to me not liking the red skin and me having the red skin is the most identifying part of my character, right? So I kind of just was like, all right, you know, I got rid of it. I got rid of it, I'm really happy I did. Now, follow up notes, I guess, I told you guys how I feel about changing characters. I'm really glad I did. But I think that, you know, I think that Redskin isn't necessarily a poor design decision. I think you can have a good looking Redskin character. I don't think that it makes your character look bad at all. It's just it wasn't my character. It wasn't from me, you know? And that's what I was going for was I wanted to have a character that really I could like be comfortable in, you know, have a have an avatar, you know? That's really what it ended up boiling down to. And that's what I kind of... I'm glad that I got past that. I'm glad I got past that. I'm really ha happy with Yuko. There's not really too much about her that I want to change. In fact, there's almost nothing about her I want to change. I think that as a character, she has a lot of room to evolve. Which is really important. And... She's just fun, you know? She's my main, she's my main personality on the internet. A lot of people recognize me only as her. Which I think is pretty neat. It's about time. I've only been doing this for like two fucking years. And I finally made it happen. Alright, so I got a surprise for you guys. Very small surprise. I'm, I'm never editing these videos. I might. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to show you guys what I look like streaming every single day in front of you guys. Because I feel like such a fucking dork when I stream as my OC on Suva. But basically this is what I do. I put it on like this, and then I wear it on my head like this all day long, all fucking day. This is how I stream. So whenever you see me like moving around like this, this is what it looks like. And it doesn't look that terrible on like on camera. That's because you got like the, the top down look. It's just not it. I mean, it's good. I've been putting a lot of thought into uh I've been putting a lot of thought into like kind of balancing out the Suvacam and the actual face thing cuz like I don't know Su stream with like I guess there's so much to talk about we 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 have so much to catch up on chat chan so basically all right so Suvas it's all right I have I I, I Getting, getting, I mean, I had that one guy who came into my stream with like seven different accounts and was flaming me from all seven different accounts at the same time and agreeing with himself, which, you know, naturally I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend listening to anybody who talks like that. That's a fucking psychopath. He probably fucking, he probably drowned small animals in his backyard. Like, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't feel good to, you know, be putting yourself out there 
to strangers and then having that be what they take in, you know? I, even even the most ridiculous statements have some, you know, some triggering point in your psychology that makes them say that, right? So I, I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of, I'm still on the fence about Suva. I know that everybody likes Suva. You know, you guys should tell me how you feel about it. You know, drop a comment, comment for me. Tell me what you, how you guys feel about Anime Waifu Curio versus IRL Curio. I feel like a balance would be good. I feel like maybe we should have like Camera Tuesday or something like that where I have my actual camera on. Or like maybe like special Saturday streams where I have my camera on. Cause like, I don't, I don't want to hide behind my avatar. That was never really the intention. But I do feel like having a persona and having a character that people can kind of stand behind, it's it has a magic to it, you know? It's special. It's like the, uh, like the puppeteer behind the puppet, you know? Little kids fucking love puppets, dude. They, they can't get enough. They're, they're like, they're like, holy shit, your, your hand is a puppet. So yeah, Suva's alright. I'm okay with Suva. I give it like a 7 out of 10. Would change. Would change a couple of things. I can't do cosplay streams on Suva. Everybody loves cosplay streams. Chat, you love cosplay streams. Um. Next note of business. I, uh, I've been, I mean, I've, I've, I've taken two days off, but I don't have that looming thing over my head where I feel like I need to, like, I need to get right back to it, you know? I, I feel like I, I'm finally taking a vacation. I'm finally taking a break. I'm just chilling, you know? Putting thought into my stream, putting thought into what I want to do with my stream, you know? My boy Rebel, shout out to him. He's finally going to get partnered. Well, he has the opportunity to get partnered. I can't see why he wouldn't. There's literally no reason this guy's been trying. He's been working his, his tush off. He's been working off his rear end, Chat Chan. And I, I admire the hell out of it. But like, that guy was, he was working for so long to get partnered. And I kind of gotten to a point now where it's just like, I, my, I mean, we all know, we got to a point before where my content was heavily suffering because I was bitching about getting partnered all the time. And I mean, that was a while ago. That was like a year and a half ago, or maybe just a year. And now I'm just, I just don't fucking care. Like, I feel like at this point I might as well just like, I don't, I just shouldn't even invest any energy into it. I should just invest into the best stream that I can have. That's what I think is, is a safe bet because that's more scalable too. Like you can't just be mad and be bad and just never get better. Like how scalable is bitching about not getting a partner? You know, not scalable at all doesn't do anything it's fucking garbage so i think that i just kind of i just kind of concluded like whatever i decide to do and however i decide to do it i'm just it's just not gonna entail getting partnered because it's just such a it's such a cop-out it, it's so ridiculous because as VR chat streamers like you got that clout you got that check mark you know people have to respect you but the fact of the matter is like there's so many different metrics for how you can respect somebody and what they do. And just basing it off of their viewership is such a stupid fucking idea. Like, oh wow, this person got raided every day by, for 500 people and then 60 of those people stuck around. Wow. This person has a modicum of entertainment. It's bullshit, chat chan. It's fucking stupid. So that's probably, that's, that's where I'm at now. That was kind of my realization. On the same note, it's pretty, it was pretty interesting. I was watching my boy. So I'm a, I'm a big, I watch League of Legends streams all the time. I always watch League of Legends streams. It's like my thing. Because not only do they teach you about the game, I mean, they're entertaining. And it shows me what it would feel like to have a chat that I utterly despise. Holy fuck. Talk about like a bunch of 10 year olds bunch of fucking bitchy 10 year olds and then just like there's some good people in there there's a lot of good people in there it's just most of them are bitchy 10 year olds keck w keck w's in chat so it's like 
it's enjoyable on multiple fronts, really. Having a shit show for a chat is something that I hope to never experience. I hope to, if I, if I ever do somehow get to a point to where I have so many people in my chat that they all start spamming the same thing in hopes that I would recognize all of them simultaneously, I, I, that's not something that I hope to have. Um, yeah, I didn't get to finish my point. I was, I was saying that, uh, I was saying that I watch a lot of, uh, League of Legends streams, and the reason why I brought that up was because I, uh, I got to see kind of, like, what the jaded factor looks like, because Voiboy, my boy Voiboy, I love that guy, he's so funny, he's so good, such a positive influence on my life, you know? I see things, I see a lot of him in me, and I run my stream in the way that I feel like he does a good job doing. And he, uh, he was watching a video of himself when he was younger, because he's been streaming all of his life. He's been streaming since he was like 17, when he dropped out, or he, didn't, he ended up just deciding to not go to college to pursue League of Legends. And this guy, this man, he was like so, he had so much energy and he's was so happy to be streaming and just so hype and all that other stuff and now he's just like he's just going through the motions and it's like i'm sure i mean obviously you do it for so long and you just grow and you gain experience and you see it all and you become a grizzled veteran or whatever but like i mean that's not the, that's not the point like that's not what people that's not not what people want to see you know i mean yeah there are a lot of people who have been there as well and it's like you know you see him like me you know i've i've been watching him for like seven years it's like or like yeah, yeah no, no six or seven years and uh and like i've seen it all i've seen him at his highs i've seen him at his lows you know he took like five months off from streaming for depression and like i was there for that but like that energy was what kept people what got him what got him started you know and i mean i'm sure if he had that energy now whenever he does he like duos with broxa people love that shit and it's about finding that. It's about finding that stick factor and kind of not necessarily exploiting it, but just kind of expanding on it, you know? Getting it out there. Because, you know, the internet, it's it's the grapevine. It's the electronic grapevine. I'm getting to 15 minutes. I, I got to keep these videos to 15 minutes. Somebody told me that it gets boring if it goes over 15 minutes. So let's move on forwards. So my content, I got to nail it. I got to get back to that I gotta get back to that energy chat chan. I gotta get back to that happiness. Because I wouldn't say that I'm unhappy streaming. It's just when I first started streaming and when a lot of people really started watching me, I was having a fucking blast streaming every day. I was having so much fucking fun. Everything was a new, everything was new. Everything was just, it was just so good. And I just, I've just kind of let that fall off to the wayside as I was focusing on other things and that honestly it needs to be what it is That's what it boils down to. That's what I need to go back to. I need to get back to my roots chat chan curio raw uncut back to his roots Just dudes Being there for other guys, you know, I Like that It, it, it rolls off the tongue. It leaves a nice you know? Alright. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I, I was- I felt inspired to make a video. I forgot- fuck! I forgot- I wanted to start this video thanking my patrons. Because seriously, you guys... You fucking guys, man. I know not all of you are patrons, I know not everybody who watches this video is a patron. But like, seriously... I- I could go on for 15 minutes about how important my patrons are to me. Like, seriously... We've got to a point now where my Patreon can almost pay my rent by itself. And that's fucking huge. That's absolutely gigantic. Where there may be a shadow in the spot where I feel like I would like my Twitch channel to be. My Patreon is fucking bursting at the seams with awesomeness. And I'm so happy that you guys are all in it. And I appreciate you guys so much. Um, my birthday comes this week later this week friday today's monday i guess technically um i take birthdays very seriously everybody's birthday it's the only day you can get away with whatever the fuck you want to do i don't care what it is as long as it doesn't you know 
you, you know the obvious. I don't. I'm not going into it. You guys know what I mean when I say that. It's your day. Use it to the best of your abilities, and it's my day. And I'm gonna use it to the best of my abilities. I am not gonna do shit on my birthday. Holy shit. And I'm gonna enjoy the fuck out of it. And then I'm gonna take some time off, some more time off. Then I'm gonna learn about some models or some shit. I made a chair today, chat chan. I just did it. Made a chair. And then I took a nap. That's the good shit. Alright. I'm done. I'm sorry. I've been I've been I've been keeping you guys going for too long. Thank you everybody for being here. I love you guys a lot. Um if you're somehow here without Knowing that I stream on Twitch, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash curio. Um, welcome to my shitty ass YouTube channel that has like 60 subscribers. It's a pleasure. I love you guys. Um, I have a Twitter that does, isn't NSFW anymore. And then I have an NSFW Twitter. And uh, I have a Patreon. I didn't know if you knew that or not, but now you do. All right. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Keep being fancy, and I'll see you sometime this week. I'll probably stream before my birthday, but maybe not. Leave it in the wind. Mm. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>